Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To copy or cut data, first select the cells that you want to copy or cut and then press either the copy or the cut buttons in the clipboard button group on the home tab in the ribbon. The cells that you have selected will appear with a blinking marquee around them to indicate that they have been cut or copied. The cut or copied data is then placed onto the clipboard which is memory allocated to cut or copied data. Next, select the cell where you want to paste the data that you just copied or cut. Then you can click the Paste button in the Clipboard button group on the Home tab in the ribbon to paste the last item that you cut or copied into the selected cell of the worksheet. If you are cutting or copying multiple cells, you will only need to select the cell that will become the upper left corner of the pasted data. In this case, when you click Paste, the cells will paste themselves down and to the right from the selected cell. If you want to cut or copy multiple items before pasting any of them, then ensure that you have the clipboard displayed before you cut or copy the elements to ensure that they are not lost. You can view the clipboard by clicking the Clipboard button in the lower right corner of the Clipboard button group on the Home tab in the ribbon. This will show the copied items in the clipboard view of the task pane. To paste elements from the clipboard, you can click on the item in the clipboard that you want to paste into the selected cell within your worksheet. You can delete copied items from the clipboard by moving over the right end of the copied item within the clipboard and then clicking the drop down arrow that appears. Select the delete command from the drop down menu to delete it. You can also delete all of the contents from the clipboard by clicking the Clear All button at the top of the clipboard. You can click the small X in the upper right corner of the clipboard to close the clipboard when you have finished using it. If you prefer to cut, copy, and paste using your mouse, then you can use the drag and drop method. You still begin by selecting a cell or cell range, but not multiple non-adjacent cell ranges. You must use the cut or copy buttons or keyboard shortcuts to do that. To cut and paste the selection using the drag and drop method, just click the border that surrounds the cells you selected and drag them to a new location. An outline of the cell range will follow your mouse pointer as you drag, showing you where the range will insert itself when you release the mouse button. To copy and paste a cell range using drag and drop, you do the same thing as when you cut and paste a selection using drag and drop, but first hold down the control key on your keyboard before you click on the border of the selected cells, and then drag and drop the cell range. Finally, release the control key as the last step to copy the selection versus moving the selection. Remember, cutting and pasting formulas results in absolute referencing, while copying and pasting formulas results in relative referencing. This is because when you copy a formula, you usually want it to adjust its cell references and perform the same calculation, but with new cell data from its new location. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.